Get 0% financing for 36 months on select Rogue trims. These epic offers won't last forever. This is KCAL News, Los Angeles. Now at 9, we'll have the very latest on the catastrophic implosion of the Titan submersible. Can any of the wreckage be recovered, and what clues could it yield? The homeless guy got a knife, a big dagger, probably like 12 inches, and just stabbed him right in the middle of the back out of nowhere. Another Metro bus driver stabbed on the job, the latest in a string of violent attacks on L.A. public transit. The attack happening as Metro's board considers overhauling its safety plan. And more than 50 days on the picket lines, how the writer's strike is taking its toll on Hollywood. But well, we begin with breaking news tonight, a night of dangerous chases, and it appears the drivers in both got away. The most recent pursuit started in Hemet. Here it is. A Jaguar raced at over 160 miles an hour westbound on the 10 freeway. The drivers sped around downtown LA and then got onto the 110 freeway south around Exposition Park. The driver got onto Manchester and it appears to us he bailed from the car while it was under the 110 freeway and then left the car in drive. The car rolled slowly down Manchester, a car with no driver in it, right? Other drivers wondering what was going on here. The CHP eventually showed up, stopped the car and started looking for the driver. And the second pursuit tonight started in Ventura County. Three people wanted for stealing from stores. They raced down the 101 to the 405 freeway onto the 90, even tossing bags onto surface streets. The CHP gave up the chase, deciding it was just too dangerous given the crime was just minor. A few minutes later, the people inside foot bailed on Slauson in Vermont Square. They jumped through backyards and ran into a house. And soon after that, they hopped onto two different cars and it appears they got away. Good evening everyone. I'm Juan Fernandez. Pat Harvey is off tonight. And now the ending search crews were dreading. Debris from the Titan submersible was found near the wreckage of the Titanic. Officials say all five passengers aboard the doomed vessel that was carrying them to see the Titanic are dead. KCAL News reporter Tom Wade is here with the heartbreaking end to a search that really had the whole world on edge, Tom. Yeah, the whole world and hoping, right? Yep. So it's not the news we wanted at all, obviously. The Coast Guard in Boston, which led the international search efforts, says it's too soon to tell when the submersible imploded on its journey. Meanwhile, it may be impossible for crews to find and retrieve the remains of the passengers. A tragic end to a frantic search. This morning, an ROV or remote operated vehicle from the vessel Horizon Arctic discovered the tail cone of the Titan submersible. The debris of the missing submersible Titan was found about 1,600 feet from the Titanic wreckage. This is a incredibly unforgiving uh, environment down there uh, on the seafloor. Uh, and uh, the debris is consistent with a catastrophic uh, implosion of uh, the vessel. The cause of the implosion is still unknown, but all five people aboard were killed. OceanGate founder Stockton Rush, billionaire adventurer Hamish Harding, Pakistani businessman Shahzada Dawood, his 19-year-old son Suleiman, and French explorer Paul-Henri Narjolet. The Titan has been missing since Sunday when it descended to the Titanic wreckage site more than two and a half miles beneath the North Atlantic sparking a massive international search covering about 10,000 square miles. The company Ocean Gate Expeditions charges $250,000 to see the Titanic up close. Per Wimmer, an explorer himself, says he got to know the company's CEO, Stockton Rush, when he was considering a dive years ago. Stockton uh, obviously was a deep sea explorer um, who it's what few people have done. But Oceangate has faced criticism from a group of experts in the submersible industry who wrote a letter to the company in 2018 warning of possible catastrophic problems. One of those experts, Will Conan, said the Titan had not passed safety standards. There are only 10 vehicles in the whole world that can go 4,000 meters or deeper, and all of them are certified except the Titan. While Wimmer mourns the loss of his friend, he believes this setback will not stop other people from deep water exploring. We know we've been held back by defeats along the way. The quest will continue for exploration. Titanic